Hey guys, what is up? It is Combo, and welcome back to a brand new Elden Ring video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Today's video, guys, we're going to be going over the basic astrologer guide. And basically, first off, we're going to go over a really good starting staff that you guys can get. Um, then we're going to move into one or two really good spells. And one of these spells is actually going to pair very well and even be able to use into the mid game with this staff that you guys will find. And then lastly, we're going to take a look at a few different pieces of armor that you guys can use early game. Now again, I will show you guys all the location of these and just brief gameplay introduction to you guys. Just to kind of show you guys the basic best kind of early mage build out there. And with this video, right as you guys come out, take a look at the map, right as you guys come out of the first step and you guys start the game, you will be able to actually acquire all of these items. So this is why this is very important. If you guys do end up liking this content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. It really does help me out a bunch, guys. And yeah, let's jump right into it. So now let's say you guys have just exited the starting area and you want to upgrade your equipment. And the first thing you want to get rid of is the glintstone staff. And you actually want to get a better staff. So taking a look at the map, what we're actually going to do, so there's two ways to get this. You're going to kind of have to go over here north and east of the map over by the runes. So there are two, again, two different ways we can do this, and I'm going to show you guys the first way right now. Now, firstly, you guys are going to want to head east to the Dragon Burnt Runes, which again is just right down the hill from the starting area. What you're going to do is you're going to run inside these Dragon Runes. We're going to jump over. We don't really need to deal with these enemies, and you're going to run down here into this tunnel. Once you guys are in the tunnel, there are some rats in here, but you are going to actually open up this chest. I'm actually going to open this up now to show you guys, and you will be transported because it is technically a trap. So once you guys do arrive, you'll be at the crystal tunnels. As you can see, you teleport all the way from the ruins over here to the east side of the map. And we're going to do again, it is very high level, so you're going to have to kind of take your time. You can kind of just kind of run by these enemies again. They are going to be very powerful. We're going to run down here, run past these enemies, run all the way down here. And what you'll notice is that you actually cannot leave this place if you go. You're going to have to touch this grace here. There's a grace right here. So just for the purpose, you'll touch that, you rest here, and then you guys can actually leave. So you can go out here. Once you guys leave the cave, then the map will open up and you can then teleport wherever you want to. So now once you guys actually leave the cave, you're just going to want to head basically dead uh, south and a little bit west. Just kind of run around the coastline, then you guys will find a bunch of these ruins. So once you guys find these ruins, we're going to be looking for something called the Meteorite Staff. I have made a little bit of a guide to that video, link will be down below in the description. Now the Meteorite Staff is actually located in this far rune over here. Also make sure you guys are on your horse because it is, there is like kind of poison on the ground. So you have these enemies in here, that body right in front of me will have the Meteorite Staff on it. You can loot that dead body and you guys will get the staff that I actually currently have right now. Now the staff is very powerful for the spell that I'm going to show you guys which is actually located thankfully right next to the Meteorite Staff which makes it really good and that's going to be called the Rock Sling Spell. Now just really quickly, I'm going to take a look at the Meteorite Staff to show you guys. Now, what's really good about this is it's starting attribute scaling, strength D, intelligence is S. Now, keep in mind when you guys are going to play the Astrologist um, or Mage build, you're going to want to put a lot of your points into two things, mind and intelligence. Those are the two really good things. Mind is going to help you hold more FP, intelligence is going to allow you to use the better staffs and spells. Something that you guys do need to know with this is that as you card, 6 strength and 18 intelligence. And the passive effect is that it's going to boost gravity sorcery, which is going to be the rock sling spell. So now here we are at the meteorite staff location. And you guys are just going to kind of want to avoid these enemies. They do have a little bit of attacks that kind of follow you, but just ride on your horse. You're just going to go straight ahead, basically north. And you find this little kind of cutout here, down here. What you guys go is run down here. And then there will be a chest. And inside this chest will be the Rock Sling spell. Okay, so I kind of just teleported back to the main church. I just want to show you guys the Rock Sling spell here. So go over to, actually, no, I want to show you guys how to actually change the spell. Because this is very, so if you guys are starting new to the game, in order to 
change the spell slash memorize the spell. You have to sit at a grace, go down to memorize spells. Then you guys can click on it and you guys will have the rock sing spell, which is really nice because it does also require 18 intelligence, meaning you can use it right away. This is going to summon rocks from the earth and send it flying. So we're going to have that equipped. Once you have that equipped, we can go on and ch uh, change it on our spells. We should use it here. We got it like that. And this is basically just going to create the three boulders that's kind of going to follow the enemy. Uh, something also to keep in note that is really known about this spell is that this one is going to cost a more FP than the Glintstone Pebble, so just kind of keep that in mind. So we have this sword right here as you're walking. Well, that missed him. Use the spell on him. It's going to go towards him, and we're going to kill him. And that is just kind of the basic rundown of the spell. I actually still use this spell even mid-game. I absolutely love it, especially with the meteorite, because it's going to boost the damage of this. And it is very, very good starting staff and spell. Now next up, guys, I'm going to show you an entire early game, right off the start, mage set called the Sage Set. And this is going to be located in the Stillwater Cave. As you can see, I actually can't teleport out of here right now. But I just kind of want to kind of back up on the map a little bit. So basically, here's the starting point, the first step in the first chest, where I was just showca showcasing the spell. I'm going to head straight north and then to the west a little bit. And I don't really want to get into very many kind of spoilers, but you can just basically have to go, just go around outskirts, and you guys will make your way to the Stillwater Cave. You can actually find the highway south first, and then drop down the mountain, and you guys will see a little bit of jellyfish. You guys will enter the cave. Once you're actually at the cave, you will find this gray site, and what we're going to do is just kind of follow my path so you guys can find the whole armor set. So what we're going to do is we're going to run all the way around here, and we're just gonna run by these enemies. This is what's really good. It's kind of these type of enemies, so you just kind of run. We're gonna jump over this. Just gonna keep running. Kind of just dodge this a little bit because these will follow you. Run all the way down here. And we're gonna go down again. And what actually is gonna be here is a poison pit. Now I'm probably just gonna die here, but it is on this dead corpse right here. And pick it up, and you guys are gonna get the entire set. I just want to really quickly show you guys just this outfit real quick. So this would be the whole Sage Armor outfit. And I actually do like the, the design of this. And next up, we're going to head over to kind of like a little bit of bonus content. And we're going to get you guys a very good shield. And this shield is really good because it has 100% physical damage block. Which is going to be very, very nifty for your Astrologer run, especially if you're getting out. So what we're going to do is look at the map, and what's really nice about this is it's really close to spawn. It's just straight north, and you're actually going to have to run by this kind of ruins place just by playing the game. So what we're going to do is run around. It's going to take probably about 15 to 20 minutes. It could take longer because it is just like kind of a loot-based drop, like kind of just randomized. You want to go around and just kill all these soldiers with the shields. If they don't have a shield, then it doesn't really matter. What you're trying to get is their shield, which again will have the 100% physical protection, and that is what you guys are looking for. So just kind of like rinse and repeat. Good thing is there's a grace right here, which you can get. You can go kill him with a shield, kind of run on the path. There's like two over here, two over here. Run around, just kind of run in a circle. Come back to the grace, you don't get it, and then repeat the process over and over again to guys get the shield. Now with the shield being a little bit of bonus content, you're also going to want a few more spells and you can come here with some more glintstone spells. Now this is going to be located again right at the start. You're going to basically head east. This is the Dragonbird runes that we ran for the chest, which is actually teleported all the way over to the crystal caves. It's going to be the waypoint runes. Once you guys actually get down here, there's a little bit of a boss. Nothing really hard, especially being astrologer, just kind of keep your distance. He has very basic attacks. Once that happens, you can go through this door and you can actually buy spells from this lady here, you can study sorcery, and they're just all glintstone uh, store, uh, spells, and you guys can just save up your runes and buy those here. And that is going to wrap up the video for you guys who did find this helpful. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. If you have any comments, I mean any comments, please leave them down below. I will try my very best to answer them. And basically this video guide was just to get kind of like an OP, very early start mage. Now there are a few other things like some talismans, a little bit of like potion reworks and stuff like that. That I can go over if you guys do want to see more guides on that. But I kind of want to do them in little separate guides. And this one I just want to get like, you have a little bit of, you have an armor set, you have a staff, 
and you have a spell or you can go learn some more of those glintstone spells and you guys can just kind of like a basic idea but the big part is the rock sling spell plus the meteorite staff which is going to carry you for at least halfway through the game and it's just really going to help you especially that meteor staff to how it boosts the gravity spells and yeah let me know down below again if you guys do like this type of content and also comment down below if you guys know any other major outfit sets that I might have not have said before. Um, again, in other videos, I think I will do a little bit more of kind of like a little bit more advanced mage sets. And so again, some few beginner things because you could switch up a few of the uh, kind of the hoods if you really wanted to and kind of interchange it. There's just there's so many items in this game and at least just having some starting with thing is just to get you started. So I hope you guys have a good one. It's Cumble. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.